Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to scrap products from Flipkart.com and add them into a CSV. So you can import them easily to your WooCommerce, Amazon, Walmart or any other store you want. So uh, for example, on Flipkart, I want to scrap the category or I want to scrap specific product like uh, DJI accessories and drones. So uh, it will give me the gimbals the osmo uh, the gopro all all these products and i want to add them to a csv so i can easily import them to my woocommerce store uh, first of all i search for dji and it gave me the result from 1 to 40 on this page so i want all these 40 products into a csv uh, so for that i'll uh, use google chrome browser it works on only google chrome browser uh, the method i want to show you uh, so click on these three dots and click on more tools click on extensions and open web chrome store click on search bar and search for scrapper uh, sorry web scrapper dot io and press enter this web scrapper needs to be added to the Google Chrome browser click on add to Chrome confirm adding extension and uh, it will automatically be added to your Google Chrome browser so uh, if you don't see um, the scrapper within this bar then click on extensions and web scrapper pin web scrapper so you can already see that here now uh, now come to the Flipkart website again on the same URL where I search for DJI products right click and click on inspect element uh, when you open uh, when you first time open the inspect element it will look something like this but this will not work uh, click on these three dots for the inspect element not for these ones these are for the browser for the expect element click on these three dots and click on dock to bottom and it will appear here now you can see a new tab web scrapper it's because of this extension click on web scrapper and click on create sitemap and create sitemap copy this url the search url which uh, includes the search keyword and all the filters if you want to add filters sort by popularity price low high everything uh, it will reflect here so copy this url and paste it here and name it I'm naming it Flipkart so I can easily recognize it in the future. Flipkart, create sitemap. Now uh, we will select the single URLs. Click on add new selector and type in the name. Let's name it single product or single. Change type from text to link. And choose this multiple because we will need multiple URLs from this first page. As you can see there are one to 40 products on this page so click on select and choose the first one click on select choose the first title and the second title it will automatically add all other titles if not then choose the fourth as well and you can see all these titles are now selected click on done selecting and save selector okay now open any single page any of these single product pages copy this URL and come to the previous tab where inspect element is opened and paste it here and go okay now uh, click on this single uh, selector as well to open the single as a root click on add new and here we will add a title select as text click on select and choose the title click on data preview to confirm yes it's the same title from the product click on save selector now add new and add price select as text choose the price it's 51,999 rupees click here click on save now we will uh, add a short description or highlights so click on add new click here type short and change from text to HTML because these are these are in li uh, or 
list order order list or unordered list so click on select and choose the highlights data preview and these are in allies okay, save it now we will get uh, the image this one so click on add new selector image change the type from text to image select and choose the image if you click on data preview just click go to image and yes it is so close this and save it now we will get uh, the long description and finally the image so let's see for long description I guess uh, this is the brand directory no it's not okay specifications let's click on read more and add all these specifications to this so click on add new selector type description and change from text to HTML select and choose the uh, parent of all specification here it choose, chooses only a general select again let's see if we can choose the whole element if not then we can uh, add them separately like general is the one let's add dimensions in the another one choose HTML select and choose the dimension tab similarly you can add warranty and manufacture packaging import etc and reviews as well so uh, we have these fields come to the root and click on sitemap and start scrapping now uh, this will take a couple of minutes because these are 40 products and the scrapper will uh, get all these products one by one and uh, every product will take from one to two seconds so uh, it means that it will take up to one minute one minute to two minutes uh, and it's de depending on your um, web connection internet connection so uh, we you can wait and then you can uh, st uh, get start getting this CSV. I'll show you in the last uh, how you can get this CSV or the Excel file if you want. So I'm pausing this video right here and I'll be back after the scrapping is completed. After the scrapping is done, the browser will automatically be closed, the scrapping browser. And now here click on sitemap and click on export data. As you can see, we are having two different formats. One is CSV and one is XLS. Uh, we normally get the data into a CSV but if you want to organize the data then you can uh, get it in XLS and it will be opened in Microsoft Excel. Uh, I am opening it in Microsoft Excel uh, after all this CSV so click on CSV click on Flipkart CSV and we have the data within the CSV. So first of all we will remove this special character type copy this and click on find and replace in the first section paste that rupees uh, special character and select the uh, price column and click on replace all and you will get the exact number for the prices so we can we have title price short description images description and dimensions so uh, this was all for today's video. I hope you learned something from uh, this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos. Thank you.